Platinum Pool is a fairly straightforward fight. The nodes on him makes him immune to debuffs, and you have to stack a certain number of charges from him purifying or being immune to these debuffs. Every time he purifies one or is immune to it, he gets a charge, and you have to get him over 10 charges within a 30 second period, which is not too difficult to do, even if you're just doing with parries, but having a champion that applies lots of debuffs will make this fight a lot easier. So Sunspot is a viable option for this fight, more so if he is uh, awakened because you can get more of those charges, but you can see here every time we attack into him He's not getting an incinerate, but he is getting one of those purple charges and we have that timer going around That is a 30 second timer and once it ends you'll see that he starts to degenerate So we're playing sunspot as we typically would and we're playing against platinum pool as we typically would It's nothing really too special about this fight as long as you can stack debuffs and get him over 10 within a 30 second period now I did mess up a little bit there, but you can see now that that expired, he is starting to degenerate. And this makes the fight a little bit quicker, helps do a lot of damage throughout the fight, but it is on a 30 second timer. Unfortunately, it would be nicer if it was a limit like once you reach 15 or 20 debuffs charges, then he'll start to degenerate and reset so you can access it quicker with champions that have quicker access to debuffs. Unfortunately, with Sunspot now, we have ran out of uh, those charges because we can't reabsorb the incinerate. So we have to build back up to a special three and hopefully manage them a little bit better One of the other nodes in this fight is juke So if you alternate ending your combos with a light and a medium attack, you'll continue to stack up those furies You can see we now have seven and one of the annoying things with platinum pool is when he gets that doom like aura That makes him unstoppable at the end of your special attacks um, But what can you do? So now we throw off a special two and get some pretty good damage Now I also tested out Captain America infinity war because because with certain synergies he will apply debuffs on the parry so he has easy access to tons of debuffs however i noticed that a lot of times it wasn't working and he wouldn't get the charges from the failed debuffs or the debuffs would just go through even though he's supposed to shrug everything off so this wasn't really working as i was hoping even with the special one the bleeds go through because of the ability accuracy reduction on uh, captain america's level one so he wasn't really working that well for this node Dr. Doom is a good option as well if you like to play him and have him. He is able to get easily over 10 debuffs in 30 seconds because of the medium attack shock and the parries that you can weave in as well. And you can stack multiple. If you're good at reparrying, you can parry multiple hits in a row to stack multiple of these charges with one combo that he throws into your block. Now, if you want to just work around this completely, you can use a heal block champion like Warlock that passively heal blocks. You have to have a passive heal block however because if it is a debuff then he will shrug it off from the nodes so that is something to consider but overall i felt like this fight was fairly simple there's plenty of champions that you can use against him and if you just play with the node and apply debuffs uh, the degeneration will help you out significantly so i hope this video is helpful in the comments let me know who you use for these paths or this fight and i hope to see you in the next video